Back in March, the Hopkins Laboratory for Computational Sensing and Robotics reached out to us and we've been working with Dr. Krieger and his team to come up with this robot that attaches to the ventilator screen and allows us to control the settings on the ventilator from outside the room. This is something that's that's totally new and unique, uh, but has a real chance to, to, to make a big difference in healthcare. So a mechanical ventilator breathes for the patient and we can set the exact amount of oxygen we need to, to support their lungs um, beyond the capacity that they can do for themselves when they're very sick. To normally control a ventilator, we have to go in the room with the patient right there. On a normal shift, it wouldn't be uncommon to, to go in six, eight, 10, 12 times in a, in a 12 hour shift or even more depending on how many settings changes need to be made. So let's say uh, we need to make a quick change on the oxygen percentage for this patient. So instead of going through the whole process of donning and doffing our PPE, we can do that change right on here. I can tap on the screen to have the robot bring the stylus right to where I need it on the screen, and then uh, tap to have it make, uh, make the change for me, all without having to go in the room. We have a little robot finger uh, that is moved uh, in uh, left and right, up and down, and in and out on the screen. So anywhere I can touch on the screen, the robot would go and I can tap uh, on that position and the finger goes in and uh, actuates uh, the uh, ventilator. Having the ability to control this ventilator from outside the room is really valuable. Number one, we can save a lot of PPE. Uh, two, it reduces the risk of, of exposure to us for having to go in the room. And then three is the chance of this being really a force multiplier for our respiratory therapists. Our staff, the respiratory therapists, are a finite supply. So if we can spend less time making these minor settings changes, uh, it could pay huge dividends for us.